Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you with your honey badger and honey stand and the dank top bubbler dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Today is Thursday. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe. Join the Senior Stoner family. Send a like my way. They're always appreciated, and I respond to all comments. Hello again. Procrastination. Boy, I remember being told by my mom, take out the garbage every day, 20 times a day, because you know what I would tell her? Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll do it. You know what I would do? Procrastinate it. And she just kept telling me. And now when people nag me and tell me to do something 40 times, I don't do it because of the situation I had with the garbage when I was a kid. But we need to talk about procrastination. And we need to talk really specifically, understand why we do it. Why do people do it, first of all? Well, I think people get overwhelmed with a situation. I think they give up hope that a situation can be changed or affected, frankly. I think they're afraid of failing. Sometimes people are too busy to get the really important things done. Sometimes people just can't make a decision they're overworked, tired, and want to avoid work they don't like. Each of these can be reduced down very closely to the pleasure-pain principle that says we do things to gain pleasure and to avoid pain. But how do you overcome procrastination? If you're a procrastinator, you know what I'm talking about. So that's the challenge. So we need to discuss some ways that we can help ourselves get past procrastination. Here we go. Well, you want to get clear about what you want in life. Shuggy, come here. We're going to have a guest speaker here. One second. Sugar Magnolia is going to be a guest with us for a few minutes. Hi, baby. We have to get closer and clearer about you, what you want in life. Because procrastinators, you've got to have something that you want to do. you got to whittle it down. you got to ask yourself, what can I live without and then you got to say, what can't I live without? Let your less important goals lie dormant on the maybe side. And you know what? Focus on the important ones that you really want to do. So you got to tidy up your to-do list. you got to delete or delegate the things that you either don't want to do or need help doing. And you need to say bye-bye to the things you can't do. And you got to put your focus on the ones, like I just said, that are important to you that you need to do. You need to link tasks that you don't like to your goals, unfortunately, because when you have a goal that's important, you know and I know that you have to do whatever you need to do to get there. So it helps to mentally or in writing tie tasks that you don't like to one of the main goals or value in life that you have. And it reminds you how each task is related to the big picture. And by linking to the task of pleasure, it's going to help you have a reason and motivate you to take action on something that might not be so pleasurable, but still need to get done. Maybe you need to plan each day. That's right. Do the most difficult and important things first. Work your way down to the easy stuff later in the day. And I think maybe you'll feel really good once you do that. You focus on the way you want to motivate yourself to check that you finished the things you started out to do. Maybe planning your week isn't enough. Maybe you have to remember that procrastination happens simply because a task isn't scheduled. So you have to have a way, kind of a serum, to pour all the stuff onto that schedule you possibly can. You have to allow for the cheating and get rest. Because when you're tired, or have low to make low motivation, you gotta take a break. You can't just keep going at it. Don't be so hard on yourself about the timing of a task. And then maybe then you won't try to escape through procrastination. Maybe just reschedule. Get back on track later or tomorrow. And always remember to check if the task relates to one of your important goals. Try to just do it, but don't overdo it, is what I would say. We often put pressure on ourselves to do certain tasks 
more often than we really need to. And the thing you need to do is very important, but you got to let go of the notion that you got to keep up with a perfect schedule. Have you ever heard of the business concept, just-in-time inventory? Well, maybe do just-in-time task management. Do it when it needs to get done. Sugar, stop digging. Thank you. Break down the big tasks, and we've talked about this in the past, into smaller components. I call it chalking it down. We procrastinate on tasks that are vague and nebulous because we don't have clear instructions. Guess what? We also procrastinate on tasks that look so big Oh my God, I can't do that. So break it into a smaller piece, little bites, and you'll be able to take a bite out of it. Maybe you get help to make the decisions. Decisions are tough for some people. I happen to use the Ben Franklin method, pros and cons, and assign points. But I also got help from friends and associates and family members, depending on what the decision was. You've got to remember to believe in yourself in your ability to accomplish anything you want because that, 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 if you've lost hope, is the thing you can turn around. Release yourself from the fear of failure because failure is just a learning experience. Slow and steady wins the race and a little bit done every day adds up to a lot done over the course of a year. If you have to, remember, you can do it. Well, in summing up, and I think we should, we need to know our most important goals and values. We need to only do the tasks that contribute to those. We want to link tasks to the pleasurable outcomes they have. Do a little bit of planning. We want to do things, but not overdo, and remember to rest, and remember to cut things into small pieces, and get help if needed, believe in yourself, and you know what? You can do anything. It's an amazing world we live in, because it really is important to remember this, that you can do anything. Anything. You can become anything and do anything. It's America. Let's have our dab of the day. Today we're going to have a treat. Los Angeles Kush diamonds. And I'm looking forward to them. Here we go. And I think they're called Blue Box today by Los Angeles Kush. And we're going to take a little dab out of that. Thanks for joining me today, as always. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the Senior Stoner channel and join the family. Send a like my way, and I respond to all comments. You all have a great rest of your Thursday. Cheers, everybody. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day.